Hello and welcome to this Banhammer tutorial. Banhammer is a plugin for Bucket where it bans, kicks, and records. You can ban permanently or temporarily. You can kick players with configurable messages. And you can also record every single ban in a database so you know who is banned for what and by whom. It's a really useful plugin. It's a complete administration suite for banning people. I use it on my own server personally. My name is Grand Wazir. I'm also the lead developer and maintainer of Banhammer. It's now been maintained for about a year and a half. And I'm a little bit biased, but I think it's excellent. So without further delay, we're going to jump straight into how the plugin works. Now today, we're going to cover the basic commands. We're going to cover banning, kicking, pardoning people, and limits. Now first of all, if you want to, well, I'll explain this first. So you can see on here that some commands are in yellow, part of it's in green. If it's in yellow, it is a mandatory command. You must type a name. So for example, for ban, I've got to type a name and a reason. I might not necessarily want a time. If I don't put a time in, I'm banning somebody permanently. And all the other commands work a similar way. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to learn how to ban somebody permanently. So I'm going to type slash bh ban and I'm going to ban Frank and I'm going to ban him for swearing. He's already banned though, so we're going to ban someone else instead. I'm going to ban Frank's friend, Jerry. There we go. Take that, Jerry. Reason swearing, length permanent. Now that message that shows up, Jerry has been banned by Grand Wazir, the reason and the length, that shows up to all players. It's broadcasted to everybody. The message at the bottom there, you have banned, that's just echoed to you alone. Every player will see this notification by default. You can change that configuration for different groups by setting a permission node. So that is completely configurable. So we've just banned Jerry, but let's say I wanted to ban his sister, Jane. Oh, I'm so invented with the names. I'm going to ban Jane for burning down a house. So I type again, bh ban Jane, and then I use this, t equals, this means time. So I've got to set here the amount of time that I'm going to ban Jane. Now I think actually burning down houses in the world is a very destructive thing. So I'm going to say 7 days, 12 hours, 30 minutes, 10 seconds. Now the syntax of this command is important. 7d, d for days, 12m, m for hours, 30m for minutes, s for seconds. Burning... Oh, if I can spot burning today, burning down a house. There we go. And you see the message again. The length is in human readable form and she's been banned. Excellent, you say. Also, if you want, if BH ban is a little bit too long for you, you can also use ban and it works exactly the same way. Now, when a player is banned, they will get the reason that they've been banned and then they'll also get told when their ban expires when they subsequently log in. I'm going to demonstrate this to you now by disconnecting and logging back. So I'm going to ban myself for 15 seconds. So ban Grand Wazir, time 15 seconds, testing. And I've been disconnected for testing. If I try and reconnect straight away, the server won't let me. And it tells me exactly the time that I can log back in. So if I log back in now, I should be all right. Nope, hasn't expired yet. There we go. And we're back in the game. So you can see the bans automatically expire. And that will now forever be beyond my ban history. And we'll go over that shortly. Kicking works exactly the same way. You can use slash kick or slash bh kick. You type the person's name. And then you type the reason. So I'm going to put swearing, even though I haven't done anything that bad recently. I'm kicked. The reason. But I can obviously log straight back in. Notifications for kicking works exactly the same way as for banning. Everyone will get a message, who they were kicked by, and the reason, which is very handy. So let's move on to pardoning. Pardoning or unbanning people. Simple works exactly the same as the ban command. Type pardon or bh pardon 
and then type the player you want to pardon. So actually, I've, I've forgiven Frank. I'm going to pardon him. Frank's pardoned. Additionally, you can configure Banhammer so you can only pardon your own bands, i.e. to correct a mistake. This helps prevent magistrates or moderators or anyone else who has ban powers from banning someone's friend and then them unbanning them. It might be useful for bigger servers. I haven't found it's necessary on my small server, but I do know a lot of people find it very useful. So we've covered pardon. The last thing we're going to look at is limits. Now limits is a really useful feature of uh, Banhammer, often overlooked. You can see I've got four limits configured and these are the default limits to Banhammer. So I've got warning short, medium and long and the time that those correspond to. So a warning is one hour, a long ban is seven hours. You can set it so a player can only ban up to a specific limit. So for example, I could set it so my moderators were only allowed to ban for seven days. If they wanted to ban someone permanently, they would have to ask the next person up the chain or an administrator. This is useful to stop people from going over the top or to give people temporary ban powers for an emergency until someone actually gets on sorted out. Now, where these limits really come in useful, though, is if I type ban again and type t equals, if I press tab at this point, oh, I've got to put a name in first, uh, so let's ban um, Aaron, and I hit tab, you can see it's automatically completing these limits. Now, what you could do, you can set the names of these limits to anything you like. You could set them to the offences on your server. So for example, you could set that one to griefing, fire, swearing, uh, dropping sand on people, example. And then you just type in the limit name there and then you type the reason. So dropping sand on people. And what that then does is it bans them up to the maximum of that limit, which in this case is seven days. It's a really, really good feature to make sure that all your bans are consistent across your entire stuff. I really find it helpful for that. It wasn't really what I initially intended the feature to be used for, but it's fantastic to use it that way. So I recommend you use that. So we've gone over all the commands. Do a quick recap. We've got the we're going to ban, pardon, and limits and kick. Next episode, we're going to cover all the administration commands, the lookup commands, and other useful features which you may want to use on your server. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you found it useful, please leave me a comment. Tell me what I could improve for future tutorials. And I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.